Now, continuing on with this problem, uh, let's think about what would happen to the sulfide concentration. So again, we're going to add potassium sulfide, okay? So that means we're increasing the amount of sulfide. Now, um, this reaction of, would, of course, shift to the left, and sulfide would drop down a little bit, but this increase is going to be much larger than the decrease. So this, of course, does shift left. Um, the reaction shifts left, so sulfide gets used up a, a bit. So it would it would drop a little bit, you know, as evidenced by these, uh, you know, uh, cartoonish drawings. So you add a ton of sulfide and, you know, maybe pounds of sulfide are left after it shifts left. So uh, the net result is that the sulfide concentration is going to increase. The lead ion is going to decrease if you add potassium sulfide to this equilibrium. Let's take a look at uh, question four here. Uh, that was question four. Uh, question five. What additional information do we need to answer the following question? How is the equilibrium of solid silver bromide with a saturated solution of its ion affected when the temperature is raised? Okay, so for this, um, let's think about that. So that's silver uh, bromide. Okay, so let me see if I can get a new page here. We'll just work here. Uh, silver bromide is um, AGBR and it's in equilibrium with silver ions, bromide ions, and we wanna know what happens if we increase the temperature. Will this reaction shift right? Or will this reaction shift left? What we need to know is, is this reaction exothermic or is this reaction endothermic. So this is the info needed. All right, let's look at uh, question five here. Uh, well, that, sorry, that was question five. Question six, which the following slightly soluble compounds has a solubility greater than that calculated from its solubility product because of hydrolysis of the anions present? Okay. Now, and the next question is very similar, okay? So I'll just go ahead and circle the answers and then discuss a couple of these. Um, anytime the anion is a weak base, it's gonna go undergo hydrolysis, reacting with water, to produce some of the conjugate acid. That decrease in concentration is gonna cause a shift to the right. So this sulfite, carbonate, sulfide, sulfate, fluoride, carbonate, sulfide, sulfide. So let's just pick one of these. You know, let's do lead to sulfide and lead to carbonate, okay? And I'll explain how this shifts to the right in water. So let's go ahead and look at uh, lead 2 sulfide. This substance here, when it dissolves, forms lead ion and sulfide. Okay. However, sulfide is weak base. It reacts with water to form hydrosulfide. Sorry, I'm in the habit of uh, circulating my charges. Hydrosulfide and um, hydroxide, okay? Um, so this is related to the Kb of this substance, sulfide. And we can see that what water does, water reacts with sulfide here to, um, remove it, decrease its concentration, okay? So water decreases um, the sulfide concentration by converting some of it to the hydrosulfide form. So um, sulfide, if you decrease the concentration of that a little bit, this reaction shifts right. So it's more soluble because of this reaction. Let's look at lead carbonate. Lead 2 carbonate 
a solid substance here, is in equilibrium with lead 2 ion and carbonate ion. Okay, so you might think the KSP is, you know, pretty standard. Now, however, some of the carbonate ion reacts with water. This is a weak base once again to form bicarbonate ion, which is the conjugate acid of carbonate, and a little bit of hydroxide. So um, if we add these, so uh, again, the concept is, is that water here decreases the concentration of carbonate a little bit by this acid-base reaction, hydrolysis reaction. So if we decrease the concentration of carbonate, this reaction will be shifting to the right a little bit, which means lead carbonate is more soluble. Just for kicks, let's add these two uh, equilibrium together. On the left, we have lead carbonate. Okay. And uh, you'll notice that we have carbonate and carbonate on both the left and the right, so I'm not going to um, write that. We have H2O liquid on the left. That's in equilibrium with lead 2 ion. Bicarbonate. And hydroxide. Mm -hmm. For a stronger base, like carbonate, um, this is going to be uh, more water soluble. So uh, you can see the, the net balance equation, equation here, okay? So there is a pH dependence and uh, 